what attracted me a lot about Brazil was going to remote regions and immersing myself in the biological diversity of Brazil. Uh, I'm a scientist by profession. Uh, I would call myself a naturalist. So I'm interested in everything. And one of the things that really interests me is marine life and particularly crustaceans. So I work with crustacean physiology. I was born in Christchurch. I came to Brazil 42 years ago and where we're filming now is one of the first places I visited. When you think about what Brazil is, you know, it's a massive country. I like the size and the force and the raw force. And it's a place, you know, I mean, people come from all over the world and from all over Brazil and all over Latin America especially to, you know, this is the New York of the Southern Hemisphere to a large extent. I mean, they come here to do their America, you know. born in Wellington from an Irish family. At Victoria University I started doing business administration, went and worked in a factory and realized that business administration taught me nothing about the factory floor. So this is how I became a sociologist. I started reading sociology and I started to understand what I was seeing in the factory floor. So I never understood the world around me and this is what sociology is. If you think you understand what's around you then you can give up sociology. One of the challenges was um, getting hired as a lecturer at the University of Sao Paulo. So when I, when I finished my doctorate, I did uh, nearly 10 years of postdoctoral research in different institutes in Sao Paulo. Right? So my focus is principally on forests, rivers, water, sea, uh, ecosystems that are special. I mean, you go up the road there a bit and there are five species of shrimps, you know, we can walk over here or down on to Arasa Beach and there's half a dozen species of crabs, a particular kind of crab, I mean there'll be dozens and dozens of all sorts of crabs. New Zealand is diverse, but not from the point of view of the forests. Uh, you have the beech forests and the kori forests in the north, but it's not, I mean, if I look around here, we're looking at 30, 40, 50 species in a small area. In New Zealand, you have dominant ecosystems that are composed principally of three or four different species of trees, so it's very different. So there's a tremendous biological diversity, both in, in mammals, insects, plants, trees, uh, the actual landscape, the, the rocks. In Paris, I developed an interest in Brazil. When I finished my scholarship, they had a, they gave me a plane ride home, you know, and I asked if I could go through Brazil. So I came and my thesis supervisor gave me a list of five people to go and see, of which one became president of Brazil later on, Fernando Hickey Cardoz. So I was with a Brazilian lady at the time too, and so we decided to come back here and that's how I started basically. Como é que é amor à primeira vista? First. Love at first time. Yes, yes. Since then, we are together. A famosa jabuticaba. O efeito jabuticaba. It's incredible. But sometimes Tom is more Brazilian than me. <laughs> Lilia, don't do it. You can't bater de frente. Bater de frente is translate. Hit head on. Hit, yeah, front on. Lilian, don't do that. And then he more Brazilian than me, bet. Because 
we have to see like the water in front of a big uh, stone. Don't do that, but do that. Go around. Yes, go around. Hi, Peeping. I was picked up by one of the best sociologists in the world, who's now 93. We've been friends since he was 51. I met him when he was 51. Alan Terrain is his name. And we were debating in, in New Zealand his book, The Post-Industrial Society, in class. And um, I ended up working with him, being a personal student of his. That was extraordinary. You know, you come from Wellington. I couldn't, still don't believe it, really, but it did happen a long time ago. Well, I've been working for just over 10 years on uh, China and Brazil essentially. And why did that happen? Because China suddenly becomes Brazil's number one trading partner. And we don't know, in Brazil, we don't know anything about. If you look at New Zealand, even in the times of Maoism, you know, people were learning about China and Brazil didn't have that at all. And so we started doing research together on values, lifestyles, and horizons of university students. And that coincided with a period where I was president of the Brazilian Sociological Society. And so I had the capacity to, to act, basically. So we're basically building quite fast capacity. And so that's a really fascinating thing. I mean, you know, I would never have got into that if I'd stayed in New Zealand, that's for sure. But I still consider myself to be a Brazilian New Zealander and not a New Zealand Brazilian, right? So that means that I find myself a little apart from Brazilian culture. I'm not immersed in it in the sense that I really am Brazilian. Brazil means opportunities. For me in the past, it's meant opportunities for career and it's meant opportunities in the, in the future. So I would say in a nutshell, Brazil is a land of opportunities. People say that Brazil is the land or the place of the future, uh, but we never seem to get there. But you can get there if you stay focused. One of the things that I've learned here is to be flexible, to have multiple objectives, and you can follow that one or that one or that one, depending on the circumstances. So one of the things I've learned about living in Brazil is that you really must have Jinga. I fell in love with Brazil during Carnival, right? And on a street corner in a little town called Saint Juan du Rey, and in the middle of the night, tired as her dancing away, and there was this old lady dancing not far away. I looked in her eyes and she looked in her and they gave energy to both and bah, and that's when I said this is a place that is really special. Basically the, the big difference here, here is that, I mean, and this is what you learn as a son or a daughter of an immigrant, you know, you have to basically just watch and observe and go with the flow. Watch, observe and go with the flow. These days I tend to take a more systems view of things, but I, I reckon I could make a difference in New Zealand with the education I had there, putting it together with science that I've learnt in Brazil. So, I mean, I do have to go back and do something. <laughs>